Okay guys, welcome back to a Taylor AI one and I'm going to be making uh, for the boys um, English muffin sandwiches. And yeah, just clean the stove, so that's just the chemicals from the cleaning thing uh, burning off there if you can see that. I don't know if you can see it. But anyways, it's kind of, anyways. Alright, so I have some pork sausage right here. And I am going to place those uh, pieces, you know, just kind of use your hands. I use my hands. I mean, good lord, it's my food. So, I'm just going to press it into a patty shape. Okay, guys. I went ahead and cooked up the whole package of the uh, pork sausage. And the reason why I did that is because I can put it in the refrigerator for another three to five days and use it to make uh, breakfast taquitos. So these are finishing. So we're just going to go ahead and take these out. By the way, pork should be at at least four, uh, 145 degrees. It used to be like 160 uh, until um, the Food and Drug Administration decided that it didn't have to be cooked all the way through. Um, there's no chance of you, well, little chance that you'd get sick from it. Okay, so now I've removed the pork. I have a bowl here. Sorry. What I'm going to do is pour out the fat from the pork. I have English muffins, and I would like to give them a good coating. Um flavor and as well as toasted, I guess. So, I've turned the heat. I had the heat to about a medium low. Now I've turned it up a little bit to about a medium, a little bit past a medium. So, <clears throat> knowing that this is hot by placing my hand over it, I can feel the heat so I know that it's hot. And instead of using butter, I'm just going to use the uh, grease from the pork. I'm also going to do the same thing for the eggs. So I'm just going to go ahead and let this toast up on in the, the pan. And then I will be back and we will be finishing up. Well, not really. We still have the Canadian bacon and the eggs and the cheese, but then we'll be finishing up. Okay, the English muffins have only been in for about a minute and a half. Um, and as you can see, they're done. So I'm going to just place the English muffins over here to the side. And then because the English muffins soaked up what little bit of uh, fat, pork fat, was in there. And now I want to do the Canadian bacon. So I'm just getting the remnants out from the uh, muffins, or the English muffins. So I'm going to take and pour a little bit of this grease in back into the pan, swirl it around, and then I am simply going to uh, fry up the Canadian bacon. So that is what we're going to do right now. So, put those in the pan, we turn the heat down to low, because we don't want a quick fry on this. Don't need to. I'm going to go ahead and put all of the five pieces in the pan. And 
and just let them do their thing and become slightly browned on each side and then I'll put them with the sausage patties and then we will do our eggs. Okay guys, this is a jump cut, I guess you could call it, to something else besides cooking. Do you think that cat right there is very loved? Isn't she something? Oh, she's got a stretch. I don't think you guys can see all of her, I don't know. But yeah, she's comfortable. So, anyways, let's finish our um, egg and English muffin sandwiches. Wow, sometimes I really wish I was a cat that lived in this household. Okay, guys, I just took out the Canadian bacon. There's still, it, that's probably enough grease for the eggs. Um, and I say that and I want to add more, so I'll go with my instinct to go ahead and add a little bit more of the pork fat to the pan. And I only have two eggs, so I'm either going to make this completely correctly, or if I screw it up, then the boys are not going to have sunny side up eggs, or whole egg, they'll end up with a scramble. So anyway, so take it, instead of doing it on the pan itself, um, I know y'all can't see, can you? I'm going to do it on the stove. Um, the reason being is that, oh, I wish you guys could see it. If you do it on the edge, you'll have more pieces of the shell that will collapse inward to the egg. And that's how you end up with shell. So if you do it on a flat surface, it cracks the egg without forming uh, a lot of cracks. It's just one just like now. So that... You know, I know that... Oh, that was a double yolk, too. That's amazing. I didn't expect that. In case you don't know what a double yolk looks like. There's two yolks in there. So, sorry. Let me put y'all back down. And I'll do the second one. Carefully. And that is just a one yolk, which is fine. Lightly because I don't want this to burn. So, that's what we want. Nice and brown without being burnt. There we go. We have our two eggs going. Now to these, going to go ahead and add some cheese. I'm using Munster cheese or Munster cheese. Um, you use whatever it is that you like. And I'll put the lid on and we'll be right back because I want that to melt. Okay, so the cheese is melted. It took maybe a minute or two. I'm going to go ahead and place a bottom of the English muffin onto the plate. I am going to put in a piece of the Canadian bacon on the plate, a piece of the um, sausage on the plate, and then the egg with the melted Munster or Monster, however you want to say it, uh, cheese, and then put the other piece on top. So this becomes the finished product of what we've just done. Alright guys, live, love, and eat.